Did he ever suffer any discrimination? I don't know because you know, I was a kid and he was working in the mill. Um, my mom definitely did not suffer any, uh, I don't think, any discrimination. Uh, we as a family suffered discrimination once. We were, on a, we were on a trip to Mexico and we stopped at this place in Texas. And every place we would stop, they'd have signs that said, um, we reserve the right to serve customers. So we sat at, at this one table and um, yeah, nobody came. And then some other folks came in and sat at other tables and they got waited on. And um, finally, after the second or third group got waited on, my mother said, I don't think they're gonna serve us, let's leave. And so we did, we left and, and went to eat somewhere else. Um, but that's the only f discrimination that I ever really, that was outstanding. Yeah, I felt kind of bad. It was, um, it was not something I was used to. Um, because I can tell you that in the neighborhood we lived in, uh, there in, across the street from Prable School, nobody ever said, hey, you're a Mexican, or hey, you're an Italian, or anything like that. Nobody ever said that. Um, and we got, you know, we got to play. When, uh, when the Lucases and Zamelcos and Vargos had parties, Estebelas had parties, birthday parties, We'd have them across the street at Frable Park. Nobody said anything. We'd, we'd get invited. When we had parties, they came over. I, I remember my mom used to make, um, every Christmas she'd make tamales. And uh, of course the Lucases would come down and, and they'd have tamales. She would give them tamales, the Zanonis, the Zamelcos. Um, and I think uh, my liking, uh, stuffed peppers and stuffed cabbage, the Lucases would bring it down uh, after they'd make it. You'd, you'd, you'd know that they were making cabbage because you could smell it. And uh, they were good. I, you know, I just, you can't get over the, the fresh smell of stuffed cabbage. Love it.